Hey y'all, so I just finished filming my like best tips for curbing your appetite for buying makeup and I thought this would be a good opportunity to sit down and update you guys on my year of no slash low buy. I don't know if you remember because it's been a long time since I've done one of these updates, potentially since like summertime I think, but at the very beginning of the year and I was very dedicated at the beginning, um, I filmed a lot of updates, I made this big plan that I was going to do not really a no buy this year but try to limit my spending especially in certain areas and I would say until I went to Maui this summer until my summer vacation I did really well really well pretty well I did good okay I did at least good and I thought we'd just kind of sit down today and hash it all out and let y'all know like I made a list at the beginning of the year of all my goals and it's actually just kind of ridiculous to look at some of this stuff now just go back and I don't know just it brings me back right so basically my two big goals at the beginning of the year were to stop shopping so much stop bringing so much new stuff in and to project pan slash use up a ton of the stuff that I had I will stay on the second part on the project panning, use up, decluttering, I have done amazingly well. As evidenced by my current makeup collection, which you're gonna see here soon, as soon as my last project pan, this one I'm working on is done, which is Christmas, I'm gonna film my updated makeup collection. So you'll be seeing it soon. So I have already panned over a thousand dollars worth of products. You'll see that in my year in makeup empties, which is another video I'm looking forward to. And that is just makeup in that total. That is no perfumes, no body care, Care, hair care, skin care, nothing. That is just actual makeup. Now on the no buy slash low buy portion of it, I, I have changed so much in this last year and my channel has changed and grown and it's constantly evolving and I am too. So some of these goals I definitely could have stuck to and tried harder and succeeded on, but some of these are not realistic for the person and the style of YouTube, the style of videos, my channel. It's not realistic to the way it is now. Like I said, I've grown so much. I, I don't want to be just a Project Pan YouTuber. That is one facet of my life that I really enjoy. Um, it's a hobby of mine, but it's not my main focus. I want to do other content other than that. And I think I have other talents and abilities to share with the world other than just project panning. So let's just get into it. I'm going to go through the things that I wrote down as my goals. The first one, oh my lord. The first one is no buy any drugstore makeup. And I remember where I was when I wrote this down. The issue that I was having was that every single time, like every week when I went to go do my grocery shopping, I was stopping and picking up makeup and spending a bunch of time in the makeup aisles. I was spending a bunch of money and I was buying a bunch of duds. I, anyway, so my answer to that was just stop buying drugstore makeup. Uh, it's just a waste of money. That's it. Since then, I've discovered that that is not the case. And I will never limit myself to only buying high-end or only buying drugstore or anything like that. I want to be able to buy whatever if it interests me. I think it might interest y'all. I want to talk about, about it on my channel. I'm going to buy it. The next goal I made was to no buy lip products except balm. I wrote that in there. No buy lip products except balm balm and I have bought lip products actually not too many but I have bought them recently but only because I actually really met my goal on this one anyway so I had a ton of lip products I had some that were kind of getting up in age and I wanted to stop bringing new ones in and start using up what I had well little did I know I would actually go through all those lip products a lot quicker than I anticipated. I put them in project pans, I focused on using them, and I blew through a ton of lip products. You'll see them again in my urine empties. I finished up a lot. Um, so then I was able to buy some more. And I think you'll see it again in my updated makeup collection. My lip drawer looks amazing right now. It really does. It's like one layer, one little drawer like this. It's perfect, especially for someone who's not super into lip products. So I would definitely say I succeeded on that point, and that's something I'll do in the future if I start noticing, hey, I don't need X product or whatever, I may try to limit those specific places. The next one was very similar, and it was no buy blush. I had realized at the beginning of the year that, and again, I'm not a blush person, I'm really not, and I had realized that I had way too much blush that I will never get through, and so I really wanted to put a stop on that and use up what I had. Well, the problem with using up blush is that you, 
One does not just use up blush, okay? It's very, very difficult to pan. I panned one blush this year and it was a deluxe size sample of a loose blush that was powdery. That was like a perfect storm of it all working in my favor and it still took me a lot to use that up. I bought the three Urban Decay Afterglow blushes at Ulta 21 Days of Beauty like two, three months ago, something like that. But in my last declutter, I got rid of nearly not nearly everything, but I got rid of four blushes, I believe. I now only have five blushes and then the Becca Afterglow Highlight and Blush Palette, which has two blushes in there. And that's it. That's my entire blush collection. So I could very well like run this over to next year too. I don't need any more blush. So no buy blush, no buy lip products, no buy drugstore makeup, low buy everything else. What does that even mean? And that was the problem that I ran into is because I didn't define that. Is a low buy under $50 all year? Is it under $50 a month? Like what is it? I never defined that, therefore I don't think I was incredibly successful on that. Although looking back right now at the end of the year, I'm incredibly happy with everything that I have. I can tell from year to year, I'm basically turning over a new makeup collection every single year, and I like that. I, like I said earlier, I don't like old products. What I'm getting at here is that even though I brought products into my life, I'm moving the old products out and I'm not hanging on to stuff that I'm not crazy about. So my makeup collection, when I look at it, makes me incredibly happy because they're all like nice, nice, amazing, almost holy grail on all of them status products. So that means I have worked my ass off on a lot of products and really shrinking the things that I didn't need. But I'm gonna get to a point where it's just gonna, gonna plateau. You know, it is. Again, you know, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. I'm not gonna be just like a perfect minimalist or anything like that. And in a way, I love that. I really do because it's realistic. And I think that's where a lot of people get so turned off about minimalism or project pan or use it up or just doing this whole thing and being more conscious about what you buy and what you own. Because we see these like these people, these like perfect minimalist people who like use their urine to water their plants and, you know, use their toilet paper multiple times. And that's not ever going to be us. We're regular people who work nine to five jobs and we get stressed out sometimes and buy makeup palettes, you know? And so I think, I think that's why I connect with y'all and y'all connect with me is because I'm a real person with real struggles and sometimes I get pissed off or sad or PMS and I buy makeup, but then I force myself to use it up and I'm a normal person. I'm also thinking about trying like an actual for real no buy for one month. That's it, to just see if I can do it for a month. And that would be after my birthday. My birthday is January 10th, by the way. Um, but maybe from like Jan 11 to Feb 11 or something like that to see if I can go that time without purchasing anything. I think I'd really like that insight. Anyways, in conclusion, I think this year has been a great learning experience. I think that I've succeeded in a lot of ways and I think I've failed in a lot of ways. Um, I think it's obvious that I can use products up pretty easily. Like that's not a difficult thing for me to do. And I've also realized I really jumped off the hype train this year with anti-hauls from Kim and so many other YouTubers and just being more observant. And do you think the tide is turning on YouTube? Maybe it's just the community I watch, but I feel like the general tide is turning here. Like people are getting off the hype train. Like we're just not into just like consume, 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 hype, hype, hype like we used to be. I feel like we're being a lot more mindful. Maybe it's just me. Um, maybe it's just the people I watch and the people I interact with and comment back and forth to. But it seems to me like there is some changing going on. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. See y'all in a couple of days in my next video. Don't ever forget that it is perfectly okay to just be small town famous right where you are. Love y'all. Bye.